My name is Ryan Bullock and I swam at Missouri State uh, from 2003 to 2007 uh, and then continued on to do my doctorate, getting my doctorate in audiology which uh, deals with hearing loss and balance disorders. Uh, and one of the things that I learned was uh, not many people knew about hearing loss and, and the help that's available. Sometimes it can be a little confusing. So as I continued to keep swimming past uh, my, my college days, I developed this idea to use my talents in swimming to promote the profession that I'm entering in since it's relatively new. And so I created a nonprofit organization called Swim to Hear, that's hear as in hearing, kind of a play on words. And I just go around and I educate people on hearing loss and, and the help that's available. One of, go one of my goals has always been to do the English Channel and uh, swim like that. So I'm going to do some swims this summer to prepare me for some uh, two mile swims and 5k swims and then we're looking probably a year from now to do uh, some major long distance swims such as the Catalina Channel or Manhattan Island. That, that's where I'd like to go with it but uh, training for that is 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 going to be very extensive and require altering my uh, typical routine. Well, and having a cause, is that a motivation for you? Keep it going. certainly is. I, I noticed that once I got out of, of college, I had a hard time <laughs> making myself stay in the pool and, do, and, and doing something. I, I, have, I have not been as excited and motivated to swim as what I am now because every day I get in there and I, and I see the progress that I'm making and I swim on my own. Um, most of the time, but I just have a, I, I know that it's for this cause and promoting something I'm very passionate about, and it makes that a lot easier. Hey, Gray, this is Grayson Vaughn. I asked him to be my ambassador, and if you notice anything particular about this child, he's got his ears on. What, is that are those your ears that you have on? Yeah. What they are, cochlear implants. Grayson, it allows him to hear. You take it off, he can't hear anything. And he has two of them. He has them on both ears. And they, I'm going to take one off. What happens is it just attaches to his head through a magnet. And this picks up the sound in the processor. And then the magnet attaches to the back of his head and transmit the signal, the acoustic signal, electrically to an internal portion that's in you're gonna put it on. You're gonna show them. And puts it. It sends the signal to the nerve in the inner ear. He has a little internal portion. He had to go through surgery, and it puts it down into the cochlea and it sends a signal to the nerve, and he's able to hear like any other kid. And he has. That's the really the only thing that's any different, right? What are you gonna to swim today? You're gonna to swim. Yeah. You're gonna swim with me. How old are you, Gray? You're six, yeah, yeah. Are you ready? To, are you excited to swim today? Why? And why do you want to swim? Why? No, you know why. So other kids can hear like you. Yeah. And so, is your cause going to be part of the reason you're raising money is to help some kids get some of these implants? That's that's eventually where I'd like to go with it. Is is to be able to help other kids like like Grayson. Grayson was very fortunate, and. Not everyone can be as fortunate as this guy, right? Yeah. So there, there will be various causes that I would like to help donate or help, help uh, direct funds to as this organization grows because I, I've come to find that there's a lot of admiral causes out there where, where they need help. Very cool. But right now it's just teaching people and using, using talents and in swimming to, to promote a cause that I feel very strongly about. Get in the pool. You want to get in the pool? We're about to get in the pool. All right. Hi. Sound good? Yeah, thank you. Very cool. Thank <laughs> you.